guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Well, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this Palmetto State Armory Complete Air 15 Pistol Lower. Now, this just happens to be the Magpul Edition. Um, I did pick this up from SS Pond in Lexington, Nebraska. I did my FFL transfer through SS Pond. And uh, guys, I want you to give SS Pond a call. There's contact information on the screen for you, and they will take care of all of your firearms needs. They've been a longtime supporter of my channel, so I like to go ahead and show them a little bit of support back. And I'm asking you guys to do the same thing too. All right, so when you get the complete lower from Palmetto, Meta State Armory, this is essentially a pistol, okay, for all intents and purposes, that's what it's classified and treated as. Um, a couple features about this that I really like out of the box, first of all, when you get the Magpul Edition, you know, it's only $139 delivered, which was a really good deal because it's hard to build one of these yourself and get these parts for anything less, and it's essentially ready to go right out of the box. I did go ahead and weigh it in. It weighed one pound and 12 ounces dry without a magazine in it. Uh, kind of to the, from the front to the back, what do you need to know about it? Well, it's pretty much about as bare bones as you can get, but PSA does a pretty good job with uh, the features that they put on here for the little bit of money you actually pay for it. Um, it is made out of uh, 70, 75 T6 forged aluminum. It is definitely quality. It's got a nice feel to it. Now this one has not been cleaned up yet. It still has the factory packing grease in some of the pins and the mechanisms and so on. And so it's gonna get a complete cleanup before it actually goes to the range. Uh, from the front to the back, what do you need to know? Well, we've got your bolt release button up on the top. It is not ambidextrous, but uh, it's just like a standard AR-15, nor do you have an ambidextrous magazine release, so it's a bit biased towards people that release magazines with the right hand. So again, not a big deal, but uh, it, if you do any kind of shooting with an AR-15, you can train yourself, even if you're a lefty, to operate all the mechanisms with no problems. You do have um, ambidextrous uh, indicators for the safety switch, okay, uh, on both sides. And uh, I can't say if it is reversible, to be honest with you, but it is not uh, ambidextrous right out of the box, okay? Uh, the trigger itself, they're not bad. You do get used to them when you practice with them. I mean, it's really hard to beat a Geisley, but just your standard AR-15 triggers, or the way the PSA does them, they're, they're fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. Uh, when you're playing around with this, just make sure that you do not uh, dry fire without the upper receiver on. That's one thing you don't want to do. You can check all the components and make sure everything looks good and everything fits. And it's standard PSA fare for your trigger group. I mean, really no surprises with the springs and so on. It does show up clean. I don't know if it's ever actually been test fired. Probably going to say no because there's zero marks on the hammer at all. But I've never had problems with the PSA part. Now, when it comes to the buffer tube, you need to be careful. If you're going to put a shockwave blade on this thing uh, and you tighten the screw, there's a good chance that it's going to move under recoil after so many rounds. That's a problem that I had with my other buffer tube from my other AR-15 pistol that I, you've seen in prior videos and uh, you know if you tighten that screw nice and tight it should stay on good but do think about investing in the shockwave technology buffer tube because the difference is unlike this one the shockwave brand tube has dimples in the bottom that the mounting screw for the blade will go into which will keep it uh, locked in a way that it's not illegal but stable enough to shoot safely at the range okay um, again you've got the regular MOE grip on the bottom you've also got the MOE trigger guard which is nice because it gives you a little bit more space especially if we, you know we're going into winter time Shooting with gloves, it definitely makes it easier. Um, it is running just a regular uh, PSA uh, buffer weight in it. I don't know if it's an H3 or what, but it's just the standard. I think it's the same one that they use with the carbines. So you should be okay. Now, my other AR-15 pistol from PSA runs flawlessly, and this is identical lower. I also have an identical upper for this one that's just sitting around. So uh, I know that I've showed off parts like this before in my video, but I haven't actually just focused on the lower before. Um, I showed you my rifle, which was basically complete out of the box in one of my videos. And so again, for $139, I think you're getting a nice little setup here. Um, it does weigh one pound and 12 ounces, and again, it does have the hard coat anodized finish which when you clean it off with a little bit of CLP on the outside it really does clean up nicely um, and again I think PSA for the money does a pretty good job on on their assembly I don't hardly ever see any kind of marks or nicks or anything like that on on the lowers um, and this was not a blemish model this was just standard run of the mill just there I don't even know if it's considered the classic line or freedom line it's not the PTAC line I can tell you that but if you go this route, this is great. And remember, guys, when you get yourself an AR-15 pistol lower, um, this one is set up to run 9mm. It has a special notched hammer on it that apparently you need if you want to convert this into a 9mm carbine with the appropriate upper. Now, I have never done that before, but apparently that's what you want to look for. And also, it is set up for uh, PA-15 multi, so it is chambered for, uh, obviously, you know, your 5.56, but you can also run it with a 9mm carbine upper. And so that's something that's nice, too. And remember, when you get yourself a pistol lower, uh, the world is pretty much your oil with whatever upper you want to go with. You want a 7 inch, an 8 inch, a 10 and a half inch. You're pretty much limited with, to whatever your state law allows or whatever federal law allows uh, to run. 
Okay, I do highly recommend getting the CAC uh, shockwave tube and the stabilizing fin to put on the back. It does make it much easier for you to safely shoot the pistol, uh, the AR-15 pistol. So uh, anyway, guys, that's pretty much about it. I just want to show you a quick unboxing and what to expect. Uh, when you're getting yourself uh, just a basic um, AR-15 pistol lower from Palmetto State Armory. Again, I paid $139, I believe $139.99 delivered for it, which is uh, a really good deal. It's really hard to beat that on my own if I was to assemble it myself. So uh, anyway, guys, that's about it. So I want to thank you for watching today. If you have any questions about this um, AR-15 pistol lower, uh, please go ahead and post it in the comments down below, and I can hopefully answer the questions for you. I really can't tell you what the pound weight is on the trigger. It's not bad. I would it honestly feels almost like a maybe a five five and a half pounds it's it's really not bad there's a little bit of creep and then there's some and then it'll break for you so it's not exactly two stage but you do get a feel for the trigger the longer you shoot your your firearm at the range and the more often you go and the more you practice with it so there you go anyway guys i want to thank you for joining me today um, please like or subscribe you can check me out on facebook twitter instagram i'm also over on patreon.com with www.patreon.com backslash travisp11 uh, please help support the channel if you can. All that money goes back into firearms and ammo for the channel so I can keep bringing you content. Um, otherwise, guys, I think that's pretty much um, about it. So, uh, again, please like or subscribe. I want you guys to have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, guys, have yourselves a great weekend. Okay, bye-bye.